What a deck of wood. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it. First card. Represents the overall environment of the, the month, and it is the last card of the year for 2014, Virgo. What do we have? And this card just came up for our friends, Taurus. It is the Nine of Cups. You it must is be the card of gluttony. Together. It is the fat and happy card. Yep. You Virgo are. and Taurus is the perfect love match, too. Did they you know are. that? They might be like drinking together. Virgo and Taurus. Oh, yes. So, Virgo, go find yourself a Taurus. <laughs> and go out and party because uh, you're fat and happy for the whole month. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of good things. This is joy. This is love. This is uh, uh, well being. This is having more than you need uh, to sustain yourself. Being a little bit guarded about letting people actually touch your heart. Mm -hmm. You see, because the, it's up above. The cups are in a line above him. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of a reticence to completely be open. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but there's also a little gluttony going on. Gluttony, gluttony, gluttony. One of the sins, the cardinal sins. Right? Yes. Right? Yeah. So you're about to sin. Uh, <laughs> All right. All you were right. sinning last month, and you're sinning this and month. And I think sin the month. Dixie Chicks sing a really good uh, song about sin. They do? Yeah. It, and it's yeah, it's okay to sin. Yeah, it's a well. It is. There's no such your thing. Definition, There's I mean, no such thing as sin. If you're if you're eating to the point where you can't move out of your bed, <laughs> I don't think that's well, the norm. That but might be excessive. It could be a possibility. But here's your second card. And this card has been popping up as well. Interesting. The interesting. five of cups. It's crying over spilled milk. We got this for Pisces. Yeah, we did. And um, this card in the position of challenge tells us that, um, you know, you probably are going to knock a few things over um, this month. And, um, you know, it is the month of celebration. So if you upset a few people, um, it's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Don't get focused on what, you know, the negative, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the negative emotions that you might engender. Yes, or the holiday <coughs> season might engender because the right. holiday season can bring up a lot of oh, that. Yeah. Oh my, it's hot. <laughs> wow, look, the yeah. fire is burning the for fire Virgo. Is burning for Virgo. But you know what is true? I mean, because you have to deal with a lot of different people during the holidays. Yeah, a lot of different personalities, and you might not have patience. Yeah, but you might want to remember that spirit has warned you. Yes, to your challenge is uh, to um, appreciate everything you have. And focus on those and relationships on, yes. that feed you. Yeah, instead of those that don't. Don't be negative. Yeah. Um, you know, negative ideas are magnetic. They, they, once you start t thinking negatively about somebody or something, mm -hmm. before you know it, your, your whole mind is flooded. Right. With negativity. And you and you don't know why you're depressed. You don't know why you're angry. Mm -hmm. You're angry because you allowed it to be that way. You so. see us moving away from the fire. Yes. <laughs> we're like burning up here. The fire's like... <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, my God. It is so hot. So let's move on yes. and let's find out what's going on with Virgo. Oh, look at that. Another... Three. Oh my oh. God! You guys are like all like Here's watery you. this month. Water, water. Yeah. So well, this is a challenge. The challenge is, you know, this card always reminds right. me of tears because we have these overturned cups. Yes. But now, in this position, in the position of the unexpected, we have the seven yes. of cups. Yes. So one of your dreams, you have to unexpectedly, I think, comes true. That's what I think. It like that. Mm -hmm. One of your dreams comes true. You may have many. Mm -hmm. One of them manifests. That's what I think that is. Well, it could be, you know what it reminds me of is sensory overload at the mall. Do you know how like you have all these things you want to buy and you can't focus and oh, you don't yeah. know what this person wants, what that person wants, or do you know what I mean? It's like all these possibilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Unexpectedly, you can't make up your mind as to what to, to purchase. For the holidays. Right, that could very well be. That could very well be. Or having too many dreams and mm -hmm. not being selective enough. But it's upright. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying is that perhaps one of those dreams does manifest unexpectedly. That's all. Unexpectedly. 
Maybe, maybe. Because mm -hmm, it is in the position of the unexpected. Right, right. Right? So it only fits in like that. Mm -hmm. But if you put it into the context of the season? Yeah. You oh, know. in the context of the season, it's uh, certainly you're overwhelmed yeah. with your shopping list. Because I always think of this as sensory overload at the mall card. Yeah. All right. Because whenever that's, I go to the legitimate. mall, it's like, oh, oh my, my God, God. sale, 80% off, buy one, get one free. I mean, I'm like, I got to get out of here. That's right. So I shop online. See that? That's the solution. <laughs> well, let's see what's coming at the end. And for your final card, Virgo, we have the Hermit. And not only do you have the card as your final card, but you have the actual Hermit who has descended from the mountain to deliver his wisdom and counsel uh, to you. Mr. Hermit, what deeply profound wisdoms do you have to share with our Virgo friends at home? Virgo, with all of the possibilities spread out before you for what you may accomplish in the future, don't forget that even if you've accomplished many things before and reached the top of the mountain, that you should aim for the highest ideal and there are still things yet which to unfold and to accomplish that even though you may be on the top of the mountain and have all of these grand vistas before your eyes it is possible to understand that there are even more things to be unfolded so the top of the mountain sometimes is only the beginning Oh my God, it is, it is God incarnate here, giving you the words of wisdom from the summit itself. Thank you so much, Mr. Hermit, for joining us here at our humble virtual tarot oracle table. May the light lead the way. May the light lead the way. Thank you very much. Ooh. Trudy, you're back. You have no idea. The hermit was just here himself. Oh my gosh. He descended from the mountain to give us his wisdom. That's so cool. And I had the coolest acid trip. You did. It was awesome. I was with Jimi Hendrix. You did. Oh my god, I love well, Jimi that's Hendrix. Incredible. It was awesome. Okay, let's Is finish that up the, the reading. That's the stuff that goes on on the <laughs> Right on. Oh, I'm sorry I missed him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. So, Welcome back. Thank you. So he, he mentioned that uh, the summit was just the beginning. Oh, my. Of his ascension. That, the, that our Virgo friends with the words of wisdom, that the Virgo should always aim higher and higher. He did. He did. What a way to end the year. What a way to end the year. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Hermit. Yes. Yes. What I want to know is why the spirits of virtual tarot keep poofing me out and not you. <laughs> I'm too tired to go anywhere right now. I'm too exhausted to go anywhere. Actually, I enjoyed it. Astral so. traveling right now. <laughs> it was cool. So anyway, it's a great way to end the year for you, Virgo, because, you know, really, at the end of the year, there's going to be just this little bit of you know, going inward and really, you know, seeking sort of like higher knowledge. And all of that exists within us. You know, the light is within us. There's a certain amount of exhaustion from your partying. Yes. A certain amount of exhaustion from um, uh, pursuing so many of your dreams. Yes. And at the end, what it does is it is, it's almost like a hibernation where you mm -hmm. go inside. And, and it's also like a return to spirituality right, because we've been doing a whole lot of partying. Oh, that's right. And, and just um, uh, let that go. Virgo is very spiritual. They are. You know, and even if it's partying, when we say partying, I mean, that for you may mean you're spending a lot of time like with family, you're mm -hmm. spending a lot of time just mm -hmm. enjoying just yourself. Just enjoying. There's it nothing wrong with that. Yes. So there is this return and sharing even to quiet foundations with our friends. There's right. nothing wrong right. with that. Well, there's even this, you know, this this return to quietude, I guess. Mm -hmm. Return to quietude. You know, and, and that's kind of a really super neat oh, yeah. way to end the year, especially when you're speaking oh, winter it's solstice. Beautiful. Uh, the winter trans solstice transformation. because it's through silence that you become 
aware of the deeper things within yourself. It's through being quiet right, and going inside. So that's right. what you're going to do at the end of the month. And so it would be nice if you did that on December 21st with us. Right. Join us. Join us. Or join us earlier if you, if you can't oh, yeah. wait. Just click below because yeah. you can actually yep. see this. And, mm -hmm. and Ava did a beautiful job. Oh, thank you. Very and, um, and then also, um, you know, we read privately. We do. Um, this is a reading for, obviously this reading is for all of Virgos all over the universe and Everyone multiverse. In the world. So it's, it's pretty broad. Um, however, we, you know, we do read uh, pretty specifically mm -hmm. um, and, and very, very powerful very readings. Very intricate readings and they're very, you're, they, they, uh, they strike such personal tones in us that they can actually create a sense of wonder mm -hmm. about not only yourself, but about how everything is put together. How is it possible that the tarot could touch you in places that nobody else knows about? Yeah, that's amazing. We have a lot of testimonials as well we to the effect, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, that is available, so click here from the menu of services. If you just want to go straight to the page, click below. You can go straight to the purchase a reading page. Uh, this is a great month. We, right. we have reversed some of our pricing just for the month of November just and December. Month, yes, so you'll enjoy, or maybe this will be a, uh, your your introduction to getting a reading. Yes. And I want to thank Erin, our hermit. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Erin. Well, thank you. You did a splendid job. You're an awesome hermit. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in 2015. Yes. You guys rock. You rock. Have fun. Bye-bye.